So what does it mean you have a pluralistic Jewish high school? Usually we have orthodox high school, conservative, reform. What's different about a pluralistic high school? Well, at, at a pluralistic school, you have all, all Jews together in, in, in one uh, school. So you, you might not only have the denominations, but you, you might have Jews that define themselves as secular or just Jewish. Um, and, and everybody is, is welcome at, at the high school. Um, the focus is less on what type of Jew to be than, than sort of the, the journey of, of finding your Jewish identity. Um, and so our, our commonality amongst all these denominations is that we're all going on this common journey together rather than where we're going to end up because we, mm -hmm. we recognize that we're all going to end up in different places and we honor, honor that. Um, but we, we say, okay, we, we respect the fact that we're going to end up in different places, but you know, we're, we're going to be together on that journey as we get to the different places. And that must be complicated, for instance, how do you decide what rules that people can eat, what kind of food? Yeah, you know, th there's wonderful, and that's, it, it's a very organic question that comes up from the, from the students and, mm -hmm. and the teachers, um, and, and we honor those questions, like how, how, are, you, how are we going to eat together when, when not everybody keeps kosher? How are, you, how are we going to pray together? How are you going to study together? Right, then everybody has the same rules for praying, whether girls and boys can pray. Exactly. together how do you solve that yeah. you have a lot of different well the, the students actually we, we actually gave that that problem over to the students so that that gets back to the educational philosophy of the, of the school that where the, where the students have more voice than in other typical schools and what the students decided was to actually come up with different prayer services so we have an egalitarian service which may be more reform and conservative uh, we have a, a service which which has a uh, divider down the middle for men and women which may be more orthodox um, but then we have non-prayer options actually so there's a discussion group that has no prayer in it, but they talk about spirituality and theology and philosophy. There's a midrash and art um, class, which is more of um, uh, spirituality based upon art and, and, and movement, and there's a meditation group, which is more meditation and yoga. And it seems like this goes so, against a certain trend we have in our society where people get divided more into silos. Like not only yeah. Jews and Christians and Muslims, but within Jews, Orthodox would never go to a school with a conservative, conservative with reform. Right. What, what does that? I guess the criticism would be that uh, you're watering it down. Yeah, you, 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 that could be a criticism point, but um, w when you look at the, the kids who are coming to our school and compare them to what they're learning at a, at a similar school, which may be denominational or maybe more traditional, they're getting the same uh, text. Um, but the, but they, so, for example, they're learning the same uh, stories from from the Bible, the same stories from the Talmud, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just that they're doing it in a, in a manner in which is more inclusive than um, exclusive. Is this a different kind of vision of what should happen with Jewish people, yeah, or even religious movements in general? I, and how I, would you describe absolutely. that? Absolutely. One one of the huge problems in in Jewish life today is that there's a, a very small number of Jews, and we're, we're very divided, right? The, we, there's, as they say, two Jews and three opinions. Uh, so this this is a different model of, of, of a different vision of Judaism that where the kids are actually this, our, our students who are going to be the leaders of Judaism tomorrow are actually showing us the way of how to bring together all the different denominations. We still hope we have those three opinions for every two though. We're not going to yes. lose that. Are we? <laughs> I, I hope not either but you know the, the, it, it's, a, it's sort of a, a little um, microcosm of, of the Jewish world at the Jewish High School of Connecticut and that, that there's all these denominations and, and they're, they're thriving together.